Welcome to Smiddles Hall, guys. We're just going to do the Lady Ainsworth room first. That's Lady Ainsworth's drawing room. <clears throat> so we're just going to look out for any orbs. And this is the room where I saw the black shadow go across. coming down. If Rose Fletcher is there, would you like to show yourself on the camera? Come down and tell your story, what happened to you. And that's the old wash basin there. They would have kept the water underneath. He's come across as quite, quite a nice person, yeah. but he's quite... Have you seen any of them before, like, since them? We have. Yeah. picked up voices outside, haven't we, on yeah. an EVP. We've, yeah. we've had a couple outside, but I think last time we came in. Uh, we've, we've been in here 2014 and yeah. 2008 on ghost investigations overnight. And the rest we've just done ourselves, like on Ghost and History Tours yeah. or yeah. outside, we've set up outside and filmed. I'd be definitely interested in like the EVP stuff, because you know like when you hear it on TV, it's like, I cannot, cannot, I cannot even make out what, like it's like, oh, it says yeah. this, and like, well, we've always like, found... I'd rather hear it myself. Yeah, it just, when we're filming, we've always found, you hear it with your ears and you don't pick it up on your equipment, yeah, yeah. or you don't hear it at all, but you pick it up on your equipment when you play yeah, it back. Yeah. That's why we always have cameras and phones I'm, and stuff yeah, running, because about, later on... Three or four occasions when we've actually picked stuff up. What yeah. Were the children playing. The children, children playing. playing. Well, they have had children's spirits here before, aren't they? But we've had it where somebody's laughed in my ear. Yeah. And we didn't yeah. hear it. And we played it back on the video. And you can quite clearly oh, see yeah. when I've done it that yeah. it isn't either of us doing it. Yeah. But when we were put that asylum at Lancaster, we had uh, Get Out Now. Oh. Get out now and something else. I can't think what it was. Yeah, oh, were... You'll see me. Yeah. It came up, you'll see me. I'm just going to go and film around before we start doing the experiments and see if anything comes forward. So, this is um, where we were today, guys. I'm the outside. This is the inside now. And uh, this is Lindsay Ainsworth's bedroom. And I told you they had separate rooms. Oh, God, kicking over the stuff already. <laughs> I thought that were paranormal, then it's not. It's just parapillic, it's just me. <laughs> okay, let's see what we've got in here. <laughs> so this is Colonel Ainsworth's room. Now, this room is really, really haunted. And I'm on my own in here now, and it's cold. It's creepy. There's huge grandfather clocks everywhere in this place. Beautiful grandfather clocks. Now I feel in this room that there is a presence. Colonel Ainsworth, um, this is his room. The light's just gone out over there and I'm on my own. Okay, so those glasses on the table over there in the past have turned over on their own. They've, the people who uh, run this place during the day have left the glasses like that and when they've come in in the morning there's been a couple of glasses turned upright as though someone's been making a drink. So Colonel Ainsworth, please come forward and pour yourself a drink while I'm here on my own. I know you're not very keen on having women in your rooms. It's predominantly a gentleman's room. And if you're not happy that I'm in here, please knock or bang or shout to make me get out of here. Or come forward and show yourself on the camera and try and frighten me off. Or if you wish, gong the clock. We'll just stay silent a minute, guys. See if we pick anything up.
Would any spirit people like to come forward and show themselves? Colonel Ensworth, would you like to come forward? Would you like to turn one of the glasses over, which you've done in the past? I'm not sure if I didn't see an orb then with my eyes. It went towards the mantelpiece from this chair. If that was you, can you come back please to the chair? Sometimes you see things off camera with your eyes. It went from that chair towards the fireplace. I'm sure. Hopefully I've picked that up. Was that you, Colonel Ainsworth, or maybe it was one of the children? Did your children used to play in here? Were they allowed to? Okay, we'll have a walk back. Because the group have set up a Ouija board and table tipping, so we're going to have a look at what they're doing. There's a door there, so let's just see if we get anything. <coughs> Sometimes doorways you can get orbs coming through. That's the history of Colonel Ainsworth. Okay, so we'll go back in here. If you are here, can you please go towards a piece of equipment? Make it light up, please. We've what's got in two. That, what's in that corner? It just seems weird that corner over there when the light was on it. Just, oh. I know, got a, a bit of a vibe of the corner. I think this was this, this was his room. Yeah, just get the, a bit of a the, vibe the, over there. This was his room. I yeah. want to ask you, Colonel Ainsworth, about the uh, carvings on the back of the door. That nobody else, nobody else sees. Somebody showed us before. Some very, uh, well, you know what kind of painting, what kind of carvings they are. That's why they keep that door shut during the day when there's children around. I think they're on the back of that door it's over there, aren't right they, Andy? Under... There's my mouth. <laughs> Oh. Right, just get a vibe, like a feeling, a feeling on that side of the room. I need to see what's behind that door. Yeah, I, honestly, I get all yeah, the vibe it, of things. That, that's that's why they keep it open sure during the day. Sure it's, that door. it's like gay men in the in different poses together, and I think it was yeah. Peter Ainsworth apparently that, yeah. although he was married, because they always were married in them yeah, days. They had a gay relationship besides. I think it was Peter Ainsworth that had those put. It's this, it's this door here, so later on when we've got the lights on, oh, you can have a look. Have a look. Yeah. I think it's this door here, or it might be this one here. Yeah, what well, is? Why? Well, one of these, isn't it? The library. Yeah. They, they, keep it, they, they keep it propped open during the day, you know, because the kids day. coming through and stuff. Oh. But Peter Ainsworth was um, about 1840, 1850, and he actually lost a daughter. She fell down a well and died at the age of four. What here? Yeah. Um, I don't exactly know where the well it was because it's been blocked off now. But um, yeah, he lost his daughter in a well locally. She just fell down. It was just a freak accident. There's nothing suspicious about it or anything. Spirits, maybe you can tell us a bit more history, please. Can you come forward? Come and speak to us. There's a couple of devices that you can use. If you can't use your voice, please go towards the lights. There's two green lights that the ladies are holding in the corner. Can you make a noise? Spirits, are you, are you able to make a noise? Can you copy me? Do you like people being in your room? If you don't want us in the room, you're going to have to make a noise or do something to let us know. I 
keep splashing in there. What about it's back here? It's near the top. No, it's here. Like a light going on and off. I'll go and have a look. There is um, that light set up on the floor, isn't there? What's this? It's like a torchlight going on and off. I'll have a look, see, um, because they've the set the security light up on the floor. There's nothing flashing on the stairs yet. Alright, let's investigate this light, guys, that people are seeing. This is the Lady Ainsworth room again. It's the security light. It's the security light, it came on on its own. But I don't know if I'm in the range of setting it up or not. So that's the light we saw. It's a We've set up a security light on the floor there. So literally, if anybody walks past that, which I might have just set that off to be fair, it will light up. Now that in the corner is a statue, so don't freak out over that guys, because it's got me a couple of times this statue. It's um, a dressmaking dummy. But when I was here in 2014, I picked up from that bookcase there, a black shape going right across. Like a monk. So let's go back round here. Oh, we've got it to us. Oh, it's me. I've set the security light off. Okay. Let's go and get in here. Just in case something comes through. It was us that set the uh, security light off because there's a guy in there doing some vi lawn vigil stuff. So we'll just let the guys know that wasn't paranormal. That's good. That's good. We've come a long way to see you tonight. Will you just spend five minutes with us? Tell me your name. Just heard that noise again. Yeah, it's definitely over in that it's corner. In the corner yeah. Yeah. You said about the corner. Yeah, I always sense things like energies. Okay, yeah. okay. That noise is coming off again. Yeah, um, there's a guy out there using Esther's box. I think he's set the, you the light up on the floor. Oh, thank you. You're very kind as well for coming forward. Can you please tell me your name or how old you are? When did you die? What year was it? Room. Great. What's great? Is there anyone on the stairs? Can you please come down? Come down the stairs. It'd be great if we could hear your footsteps down the stairs. Is there any children here? Run down the stairs. Come and play with us. Honestly, guys, if I did hear running footsteps, I would be running myself. Brilliant, wouldn't it? And we'd all be running. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Can you guys hear the noise? I can't hear it though. Oh, do you want to stand closer to yeah. the next video? Literally, it is coming down. So yeah, these stairs yeah. are haunted. It's like you can't walk into that corner. No. <laughs> <laughs> this is where Rose Fletcher the maid fell all the way down to her death here. So we've set the ramp up. Devices that you can touch, move, that are set Just up in case she room. comes through. There's a couple of cat balls. If you are here, please give us a sign by touching one of those balls. Make them light up, please. If you're here, Rose, come forward. Come and tell us your story. Would you like to communicate with us a different way? 
maybe using the table, the glass. Would you like to show yourself using someone's face? I'll try that. I don't know why, though, because I have a... Yeah, you did. At uh, the ancient Ram, you got... Um, his face went really dark and he had like a black beard and a moustache come through on your face, didn't you? Yeah, do you want to have a look at him? Do you want to see how his face changed? Hopefully it does. That motion light just come on. Yeah, there's someone sat there doing Esther's box. I think we... I think he's moving. Has he not moved? Alright, I'll film you this time, on the other. We missed it when we did the ancient round, didn't we? Okay, spirits, so we have Andy in front of the mirror. He has agreed that you can use his face to show us your face. Please come through the mirror. Please use the mirror as a portal. It shows all what you look like. If anyone sees anything, it could be the slightest thing, a smile, a grin, a wink, eyes going dark, mouth going dark, please let us know. Spirits, in the human world, we are unable to see you. This is a great way for you to show us what you look like. Please try your hardest. Please come forward. Whether you are a man, a woman, a child, please don't be shy, come out of the shadows. Show me your face. Is it cold around you? You feeling any cold on me? Yeah, yeah, I feel cold. You're feeling cold, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Maybe something's coming. Yeah, yeah. Maybe something's turning on. It's got colder. It's, it's cold. Do you want the temperature gauge? I've got a lot colder. Yeah, sorry. It's definitely got a lot colder. Yeah, so maybe something's coming around, you know, then. Yeah, I've got bumps. Cold. It's cold right here. Yeah, so it's really cold. I've got a scarf on and I've got. So you're feeling it something there. Yeah. Yeah. No, it's freezing yeah. over here. Let's see what it is where the light is. It's really cold. 19.9. Oh, there you go. It's just shot up 22 yeah. pounds. So that's weird, isn't it? Sometimes it can go both ways, can't it? Yeah. Dip and then shoot right up. 20.7. Nineteen point eight. It's cold in that corner. Is that? 18. Yeah. It's that corner. I always get that one. Really? Is that where you feel there might be something yeah. in that corner? Let's film that corner and see if we get anything. Come on, Spirit, please try your hardest. Come and communicate with us. Oh, I this feeling there might be something in this corner. You know our names. Please tell me your name. Come and show yourself. Is the Colonel here? Can you please show yourself? This is your room. This is your house. You don't like us being here. Show yourself. And then open your mouth, tell us to get out. If you do like us here, then show your face and give us a smile. It's gone cold again, Pete. Mm -hmm. 
Oh, it's cold. Are you really? There's something circulating there. Yeah. There it goes, and it's freezing. Maybe they're passing through that door. Because the doors are all in a line, aren't they? So they would have walked straight through. I'm asking all spirits who reside in this house. Please come forward and join us. Come and speak to us. Can we communicate? If there's any spirits with the other groups, leave them. They're no fun. Come and join us. <laughs> Yeah, I heard a tap yeah, or something. It's just the torch. Yeah, yeah. 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 okay. Yeah. Not getting anything at all on that, Esther. If it's cold over there, do you want to try this over there? Yeah, that's yeah, an idea. Can you pick anything up? Nothing, Andy. <coughs> Gone really? But it, it, Did your first change? It kept going like, mm -hmm. like here. It was like a breeze. Yeah, well, that lady went cold as well. It was a breeze, but <laughs> it was what somebody was trying. You know, you, like somebody, like your first was tightened. Yeah. It felt like that. It was like, but towards the end, it was like as so though somebody yeah. really, really tried yeah. to push. Maybe okay. someone was trying to come through. It felt like. Like come through you maybe. Up, but yeah, but it, kept, it did keep going cold. There's okay. something then, because that lady felt the cold draft and then the air is probably because you're doing nice. that. <laughs> Anyone else want to go looking in the mirror? No? Go on, I'll have a go. <laughs> <laughs> Do you want to take the camera over? Yeah. Right. Let's see. Can I I'm going to try Peter in, because I think... You know what, I'm going to ask who on the book of the dead, the Egyptian book of the dead, please come through. Spirits, you must be able to tell, tell us lots of stories that happened in this house. Please come forward, come and speak to us. We're interested in what you have to say. What if I was talking? Come on, spirits, let's hear your footsteps, let's hear your noise, show yourself. Are you still hiding in that corner? Why are you hiding? Are you scared of us? There's no need to be scared of us. We are friendly. We've come to see you. Come to speak to you. I want to know a bit more about you. Maybe you can tell us a bit more about you or the building. Or maybe there's a spirit who's came along with someone tonight. Maybe you have a message for them. Please feel free to come and join us. You are welcome in this house as well as we are. Please come forward. Can you show yourself please? Did you have a moustache? It like blurs, doesn't it? And then like, a, mm. I'm getting like a peasant, you know, like a peasant's face, like all dirty and, and with like a hood up. But you know, there's a poor window somewhere in this hall where the poor people used to queue up and they used to give out uh, food, didn't they? And stuff like that. And it's getting like a peasant's kind of a thing when, it, when it, it goes blurred and then that comes through and then it goes back to normal. I don't know how to do the sky and sky because it plays havoc <laughs> with the eyes, doesn't it? I'll try one more time. You guys seen anything? You standing behind? No. no? Not so far, no. Maybe try.
picture out of the Ouija board. Yeah. See so how to get some it. through on that. Yeah. Because yeah. they like different methods, don't they? Yeah. Do you want to try in this room or do you want to go into another room? Got to try that glass. Uh, Colonel Edwards' room. Yeah, because that's, that's uh, quite. With the glass. The one with it's the definitely glass, got a the feel in the there, in that it? room. Yeah. <coughs> it's definitely got a feel in that room. <laughs> right, what we'll do is I'll knock it off here and then 